back at the beginning of this year, um, I mastered a, a um, period Couperin album mm-hmm. um, for a colleague um, that they were, um, they were just unhappy with the sounds of these Baroque flutes. Mm-hmm. Um, and the recording sounded really good. And, um, you know, I listened to it and I thought, you know, if the L18 is really just going to give this a little more realism, a little more sort of nice quality to the mid-range mm-hmm. um, that, uh, that is not there. And I, so I did very subtle processing through the L18. I sent it back. I didn't say anything. And it was hilarious because this friend of mine, um, this is Jack Vad, who worked uh, as the engineer for the San Francisco Symphony for many years, um, called me back and it's like, did you run this through a bunch of transformers or something? Um, and it was kind of funny because, you know, he was, he, the, the artist who'd been on it was, was, was very happy, but also very confused. And he was very confused because Jack couldn't tell him what I'd done. And he was so used to always hearing like, oh, it's like this EQ or this shelf or this, you know, something else. And in this, he's like, I, I don't know what Mark did. He, he put it through this box he's got and, mm-hmm. and it's better. Um, and that's actually how I would say, as a, just as an aside, what I would sum up my experience with the APB a lot of the time is that it, it just, I'm just happier. It makes um, it better. It just makes it better. Exactly. <laughs> um, well, and and part of what I like is the, I mean, is even in some of the some of these, like the the Royal Mew is a good example. Even just just going through the through that and raising the gain with it um, gives it is a, very pleasing. A thing. It's um, funny. It must have been twenty odd years ago. I was talking to one of the guys who was the importer distributor for GML, and he said. Even on bypass, this thing makes it sound better. Yeah. Because there was no such thing as true bypass. The electronics, even in yeah. bypass, they're having an effect. They're loading the signal in a certain way. Yeah. And this is the same. Exactly. Obviously, bypass is bypass, but with all the, the, the controls set to either unity or off or the defaults, right. it's doing a thing and it's doing a lovely thing. Exactly. So. What I'll do is I'll just play the snare bypassed soloed first. Um, it's going to be, it will be softer. Um, but I think the, the main thing, well, I'll play it and then we'll talk about yeah. it. So. Now, you know, for me, you know, raw like that is kind of a little scary. But it's, it does what it needs to in the track, mm-hmm. but it's not very inspiring. Um, and what's, you know, is, is here, I'll just put the Mutu in here. Those little drags in that, yeah. that are just being brought up to a really nice, yeah, human level the way the way you'd actually play it. Yeah, no, exa- I mean it's like it, it's a di- it's a different world. But even just aside from that, aside from being louder, just there's something about the core of the sound that I find in a lot of these in a lot of these things, and we'll hopefully see in the moment when I play the bass, is that you know one of the things, especially in low end, that I've always found with within the box is that it's never like the best example I can have, and unfortunately I don't have anything here to show it, is like heavily distorted guitars mm-hmm. mixed in, in, in the computer have never sounded as good. You know, as like what ends up, I always end up finding that I have to do a lot of EQ mm-hmm. to drop stuff out so that stuff just doesn't get too thick yep. and too messy. Whereas, and what's interesting with that kind of stuff is with this stuff, I can have the meat without it getting thick and messy. Yeah. Um, and that's the kind of thing, like here, there's so much more meat to that snare. I mean, part of it is obviously that it's louder, but if I did the same compression with a different compressor, it's not going to have that sort of, like I can reach out and grab it quality. Mm-hmm. Um, it's going to be flat 